start. Hey, there we go. Okay. So this is episode two, technically. Um, we begin with what happened last time. Uh, what was it? Dostaf and Chamoske uh, were traveling down a path. They came across a house. They talked to some kids. They went in the house. They did some stuff in the house. They stole a bunch of jazz out of there. Uh, pocketed the hell out of it. Somebody gained a longsword. Uh, they traveled throughout the house. They got uh, scared by a ghost. Uh, they traveled into the basement and pro promptly lost their lives to some specters. I can't remember what I think they're called shadows. Where they suddenly reappeared in the mists and traveled down a road and entered into a house with some children. Where they traveled down into the basement and... Uh, promptly lost their lives to some specters, some shadows down there, where they reappeared in the mists and traveled down a road into a house, so on and so forth, continuing on into eternity. Hey, the, it's not necessarily that they're dead. They're just kind of stuck in this loop and slowly draining their life force into, uh, into the house itself, the Durst Manor. Flash cut! To the city of Waterdeep, one week later, where we find a, uh, a crow without a giant dong and Autumn Gallows. What is this? Rebel in Autumn. What is Autumn? Autumn, you are a dwarf? Yes. Yes, a dwarf and a bird sitting at a table in a tavern. It says, outside of the tavern, the fog lies over this evening. No, oh, sorry. Uh, the fog lies over this town, over the town in this evening. The damp cobbled pavement glistens in the lights of the streets lan of the street lanterns, uh, dancing across these slick stones. The fog chills to the bones and shivers the soul, shivers the soul of anyone outside. Uh, yet any any ugh. God, I just can't talk anymore. Sorry. Yet inside these tavern walls, the food is hearty and the ale is warm and frothy. A fire blazes in the hearth. And the tavern is alive with tumbling voices of country folk. Now, this is in the city of Waterdeep. Um, if you are familiar with the Sword Coast, you know exactly where that is. Um, the previous scene was done southward. I think it was like about 100 miles. I can't exactly remember. Um, three gentlemen from three different factions of the of different, what are they called? Oh, they're just called factions. Three different, three gentlemen from three different factions within the city of Waterdeep uh, approach this bird and this dwarf sitting at a table, drinking some, drinking some juice, drinking their juice. Uh, one of them is from the Harpers. His name is Zelrun Roaringhorn, and he approaches them and says, "Excuse me, uh, good sir, young miss. Um, oh wait." Am I getting the genders correct? Is Autumn is Autumn female? Yes. Autumn is female. Both are female. Is Re is Rebel a female? Yes. Yes. Okay. The approaching these two, uh, it says, yeah. Excuse me, young young ladies. Um. We about a week ago, we may have made a mistake. Uh, we sent some some fairly young adventurers to uh to the south to find out what was going on with this werewolf incursion uh there was a problem there we sent them there we have not yet heard back from these two gentlemen uh named chamoske and dostathum and we need someone to go locate them <clears throat> excuse me um we need some, we need a, a couple of individuals to locate them and bring them home safely if i could be if we could we the three of us myself delru and roaring horn and two others, these two gentlemen back here behind me, and they both kind of wave at you. And they're, Hi, how you doing? It's me. Um, if this would be something that the two of you could accomplish, we would appreciate it greatly, and we would be, uh, we would armor you in the ways that we armored them to make sure that they were their lives were safe. We would also like your lives to be safe. Is this something that we can that you can accommodate for us? Oh, I don't know. This sounds exactly like the type of thing an ambusher would say to a group he's trying to get killed. I sort of pull out a bottle, 
put my, I bring my finger around the rim, dip in a finger to a little bit of transparent liquid, and just sort of splash a little bit at the people who uh, at the at the harper. It's holy water. Oh, it's just kind of a precautionary check. <laughs> got it, got it. No, it's a fantastic thing. Um, being that three these three individuals are, I believe, human. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Male, human. Wait for it. Male, human. Oh, male, half-elf. So two humans and a half-elf. Um, everybody... <laughs> they look at you for a moment. You're like, well, that's an odd way of... Of, uh... All right. Hey, don't do I that. Of... Yeah, the what's his name? Zelrun. He looks at himself. He looks at you. Don't do that. I sort of reach out to my collar and open it a little bit, revealing um, uh, uh, revealing my holy sigil of uh, Selun. <laughs> of Selun. I don't think this matters much to them. It, it, it's more to uh, it, it's more to the idea that uh, I am a, a, of a religious nature, and there was a reason to the check. If they don't understand it, that's fine. The I got gotcha. you. The two humans uh, don't understand what you are doing. However, the half elf he smiles, he nods, he understands. He's got gotcha. you. He's got your back. Uh, this half-elf is going to step forward and say, I understand that you were just trying to check us. It's okay. I see what you were attempting to do there. This is the city of Waterdeep, where most of the time we keep these keep uh, bad spirits under under check. Um, sorry, everybody is going to sound the same because they all sound like me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, allow me to introduce myself, he says, the, the half-elf says. My name is Air... Oh, shit. <laughs> Aravine, er, Aravine Hound. Wow. Not a very nice parent set of parents he has. My name is Aravine Hound. Uh, I am a noble in these parts. Uh, I am, as a matter of fact, I am with the Emerald Enclave. My my two friends here, Zalrun Roaringhorn of the Harpers that you've already met, and uh, he points to the other guy, uh, Lanavir Strail, and he looks to the guy and he says, "Yeah, Strail. Yeah, I know." How often have you, uh, how long have you been traveling together? Because you seem awfully formal. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in this town. Oh, I I can't even tell you how long. Mostly because it wasn't really uh, divulged to me via the book. <laughs> And you still go on by first name, last name basis. <laughs> we do, of course. You know, even the middle names. I mean, Zelrune Roaringhorn, his middle name is, uh, oops, it's, it's uh, Ezekiel. Anyway, moving on. If you, I'm sorry, who am I playing here? It's like you're in a constant state of trouble from your mom. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, er Eravine. Eravine, he's, he's, if, if uh, if this is something, if this adventure of returning these individuals to to the city of Waterdeep safe and sound, uh, is this, if this is something that you could assist with, we would appreciate it greatly. Um, we fear that it's possible that the werewolves that we sent them there to locate, uh, in fact, have got them in their clutches. Well, I find it quite ironic that the hound is sending me after the dogs, but in a big, wide, toothy grin. I never turn away, to, never turn away an opportunity to die, strike down a monster. And I just sort of bring up my mace and sort of pound it down on the table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Len of your strail, he likes, he, he likes the cut of your jib. <laughs> uh, though we have uh, Zelrune, Roaring Horn, he's going to step forward. Uh, and say one more time, you know, we haven't heard much from this, uh, from this bird. What are, I'm not entirely sure what even species you are. I don't think I've seen you around. What is your name, young lady? <laughs> I 
I've been trying to pronounce your name all night. <laughs> <laughs> you young lady, what is your name? Dwarf. Bang, bang, choo-choo train. Come on, rebels, do your thing. <laughs> Those who employ me call me Autumn. Autumn. And those who I fight against know me as the Gallows. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Frightening. <coughs> um. Well, what say you? I can. I we we have the ability to uh, give you a couple of extra items and silver your weapons for your journey ahead. If uh, if this would be something that you could you could accommodate for us. Yes, no? Can I want you to do the silver? And I'm very interested in the alchemical process of it. Oh, then I will hook you up with my metalsmith friend whose name escapes me at the moment. And isn't even listed here. Is it John? John Smith? John Smith! You know the guy, huh? What a character! What a maroon! Let me tell ya. But I'm in. What about you, my uh, f uh, my feathered friend? I never turn down an opportunity to strike down a monster. <laughs> Fantastic, Zel Zelrune says. Fantastic! Allow me to uh, replenish your drinks and fill you in on all the details. The deets, as they were. Uh, we sent these two individuals, he says, Chamoske, whose last name was never spoken or written down ever. Apparently, he also has no middle name. Um, we sent these two individuals, Chamoske and Dostas, Dostathum, a, uh, uh, into, uh, to the south, near Daggerford, uh, where they were to investigate some werewolves that were uh, hunting... Uh, kidnapping children, taking them into a different place. Uh, we know that currently the werewolf pack has almost a dozen members in it. We have at least counted that much. Being, you know, a family of crows, we know how to count things. Uh, the werewolves apparently come from a distant land called Barovia, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, with the Lord's Alliance, unfortunately. Oh, I'm thinking of the wrong place. Uh, do I, uh, well, as a sort of uh, um, uh, 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 paranormal background person, do I know anything of Barovia? That is an excellent question. Um... Or rather, I feel like I, I might have heard it. I just don't know if there's enough rumors and legends in this particular setting where I actually would have heard of it. <laughs> Stepping into the meta... If you were already, imagine somebody as a conspiracy theorist uh, attempting to prove that JFK was assassinated by the CIA uh, instead of, uh, what's his name? You know his name. I can't remember his name at the moment. Attempting to prove something other than, what is it? John Wilkes Booth. Booth! That's Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> So it sounds like I can be pretty confident in coming back into the game going, oh, I've heard whispers and legends of that place. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Uh, so they, these, uh, these werewolves, they, they're, they apparently worship the, the, a deity known as the Mother Night, and they return, they come out of and return to this land of Barovia. Uh, via some okay, kind right. of, Someone some kind of portal. Someone dares the title of my, uh, of my last. <laughs> Say it again. The mother, uh, the mother of night. Someone dares claim the same uh, same role and responsibilities as my god. <laughs> yes, someone dares. Uh, they leave and return via some ancient portal. We're not entirely sure entirely how they do this. I'm assuming Dostoth and Chamoske have located this. Um, now, to assist you in this process, Zell Rune of the Harpers, he gives. Each of you, Rebel and Autumn, he gives each of you a spell scroll of Remove Curse. So if you want to open up your uh, your character sheet and add that into your inventory, 
Um, he also introduces you the next morning or that evening, whenever we've had enough to drink, to his friend John Smith, the Smith, the Metal Smith, and each uh, one of your one of each of your weapons has uh, been silvered. What are you trying to do? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm supposed to be adding. <laughs> it's not loading. Oh, is it taking its sweet time? It might just be taking its sweet time. So I would like to observe the practice of the silvering if it's an alchemical process. By alchemical, you mean... Help me out with a with word. Um, as in the use of chemicals to do it, like, uh, uh, like in generally a silvering, it's, uh, um, uh, like it's a process, it's a chemical process in real life where you b basically put something into a solution that actually causes, um, silver to bind to yeah. metal. Science and physics. Because I'm proficient in alchemist kit. <laughs> Uh, you do. You see exactly that happen uh, as this process. Yeah, looking over the guy's shoulder, this is exactly what you see. Now, I've never actually watched somebody silver a weapon, so I don't genuinely know how it's done. But as you described it, that's how it works. Uh, I don't have to keep this in mind for later. Maybe if I drive some nails into my stakes and, and bolts. Yeah. <laughs> Into your into your stakes and bolts. Do you have bolts on you? Yes, I have oh. a hand crossbow. Oh, awesome! <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. Uh, spell scroll, remove curse, weapon silver. Uh, Lanavir, the other human, the guy who likes to cut of your jib because he is a knight. Um, he gives each of you, the both of you, a potion of heroism. And the... I need for heroism. <laughs> you, have, you now have an addiction to heroism. And unfortunately, Aravain Hound only departs to you, telegraphs to you the information about everything that he just said. The werewolves leave and return Barovia through some kind of ancient portal. There's a dozen members in there. Oh, and the the, the leader of the pack is named Kirill. We know this much. So he wasn't really that helpful. Um, on your way, I'm going to say uh, montage. Doo, doo, doo. Uh, on your way southward, if you've ever looked at a map of, of, uh, of the Sword Coast, uh, traveling southward from Water Waterdeep, to Daggerford. Um, I think it was roughly about 100 miles? Maybe by 60? I actually don't... Along the way? What is it? Say it again. Is there a waterfall along the way? There's always a waterfall along the way. Well, just somewhere along the way, if there's a waterfall, I'd like to do the most useless thing ever and just take like an hour and do a selfie sketch of the two of us in front of the water. <laughs> 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 Is there not, like, we need, like, some sort of magical thing that would, you'd still stick on the edge of a rod that would, like, like a selfie stick. You know what I mean? <laughs> a stick, a mirror, and my paintbrush. Perfect. <laughs> exactly that. Uh, let's see here. Traveling to Dagger for... Do, 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 do. Sorry, give me a moment. Forgotten Realms. I did not even highlight this. Cool autumn breeze blows through the streets as you make your way. As you dine on hot spicy soup, a tenderly cooked pheasant. You can see that the Duchess... Oh, this is that's why I didn't highlight this, because half of it didn't even apply. Um, you come to Daggerford, you uh, up on a hill... There are there are travelers capped, camped on a hillside outside the date outside of the gates of Daggerford near the road. Uh, as the evening grows dark, you see a dozen. I'm, I'm guessing at this point we're. I'm sorry. Too much of a montage. 
roll with me on this. Uh, as the evening grows dark you, dark, you see a dozen men and women gathered around a, ca a crackling bonfire. The folk in good spirits are in good spirits. A few of them sing with uh, sing and dance around the fire, while others find happiness in their flasks and wineskins. Three barrel-topped wagons are parked at odd angles, t uh, tied to a nearby tree, ga grazing and are... Ugh, oh my god. Tied to a nearby tree, grazing, are half a half a dozen draft horses wearing bright coats yeah bright coats and bangles and tassels uh the leader of this group approaches you he says hello but he's it's this uh he's also very brightly colored uh this human is old it doesn't say if he has a beard or not we're going to assume that he has a beard because he's old so he kind of looks like dumbledore he says, hello, 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 hey, hey a, a, a poop and a peppy. Uh, my name, my name is Stanimir. Uh, these are, I would like to introduce you to my, my daughter, Damia, Damia. And my son, Ratka. Uh, insight as to whether or not this is a gypsy, or I'm sorry, a uh, Romani, well, a wandering. What the hell is the what, what the hell is the politically correct term for it in the D and huh? What is it? Nomadic person. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely looking like an elder bard, but yes, exactly as you rolled you picked out exactly that this is most definitely a gypsy like person um the he goes on to tell you that he is not just he, I, I am not the just gypsy i am a vistani uh we vistani we travel here and there and provide services and food and dance and song and all the jazz it's fantastic but please, come, join us at our fire. Uh, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Never mind, he doesn't say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me instead, what's, what brings you to the, uh, to the, 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 what did I say? The gates, what brings you to the gates of Daggerford on this, on this cold winter, on this cold night? Well, it appears some friends of ours have, uh, gone missing in these parts, and, uh, we were hoping mm. to potentially find our way to them. Fantastic. Kidnap the children. They kidnapped the children, huh? Well, this sounds like the werewolves. The werewolves of these parts. These here parts. Uh, you wouldn't mind, uh, shaking hands with me, Mace, for a moment, would you? An odd request? What for? Uh, as a religious individual, think of it as a sign of trust. To shake hands with an inanimate, an, an, in, an, in, 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 fucking Christ. To shake hands with an inanimate object, like your mace. You can, think of it as a, you can think of it as a juggle if you'd prefer, and I sort of swing it out and do a quick toss. <laughs> to, toss two... Stanimir or toss to yourself? Uh, toss to Stanimir. Basically, uh, 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 basically, I'm doing kind of a think fast lob. Not directly at him, but in a way that would be easy to catch for a juggler. Because I'm racially profiling. You are. Uh... <laughs> uh, I suppose you probably want a dex on me as well. Uh... I'm wondering if like, he's the kind of guy that would actually reach out and catch it. Whether or not he's dexterous, dexterous enough to do such a thing, would he let it just hit him in the chest and drop to the ground? Character's approach. Introduces himself, welcomes the character to the camp. Blah, blah, blah. No, he has no interest in... He will catch it. He will at least attempt to. We'll say he does. Um... So catching, it's catching. Do a quick throw. Uh, 
1d20 plus 1. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to roll for this? I'm going to say no for the simple, uh, for the factor that I'm trying to move things along. So he's just going to reach out and catch it. He'll do it with both hands. Sorry, let me put down the book. He does it with both hands, catches it, is stunned. Why? Uh, now I have to ask you, why am I catching this? <laughs> what is the consequences? Uh, that is the GM. Or I'm asking you uh, in the, in the meta game, what is what would be what was your? It's silver. There are twelve people. I'm checking for werewolf uh, lycanthropy. Aha! Uh -huh. Got it. Uh, he does in fact catch it. He has no problem. Uh, that you he does not he d it does not produce the what you were looking for the result that you were looking for. Wide toothy grin, uh, slap, uh, uh, yeah, uh, slap my thing, and then ask, uh, and then sort of make a gesture to toss it back. <laughs> oh, so he told, he takes it in his hands. He does the whole thing. It's just a mace, right? I mean, where it's top heavy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he does that. He does a quick uh, fling into the air. You see it kind of come back around, making sure that you, in fact, because of course juggling skills, I <laughs> he is a Vistani. Juggling is, of course. This is exactly what I've been trained to do for quite some time. I'm not going to relay to you exactly how fucking old I am. <laughs> but the beard, it's fake. And he pulls it off like Santa Claus and he puts it back on. Ha ha! Fool ya! Acting! Just when I was starting to trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Come, he says. You are, you are a silly young lady. Join us at our fire. Uh, we have no, we have no wish to make enemies of anybody, individual, any individual here, especially anybody affiliated with Lady Morwen, uh, which is unfortunately I, something I did not go into. So just forget that I said that entirely. Um, come, he says, what are your names? My name is Stanimir. I am old. I have a fake beard, apparently. What is What are the names of you, a dwarf and, and bird? Call me Autumn, like the season of entropy. Your fantastic, beautiful name. And you, bird? Bang, bang, choo-choo train. Watch a rebel do our thing. <laughs> the fuck? Fantastic! Ah, <laughs> uh, come, sit by the fire, have some fucking pheasants. I have a story to tell all of you. First, you listen. And then... I will help you find your friends. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Stanimer fills his mouth with wine, then spits it into the fire. He's <laughs> does one of those. The flames uh, turn from orange to green as they dance and sway. A dark shape appears in the bonfire's core. He says, we come from an ancient land whose name is long forgotten, a land of kings. Our enemies forced us from our homes, and now we wander the lost I road. Hey! I'm talking. I swing my mace through the fire real quick. <laughs> through the, what is that? What? Why? I, I swing my mace through the fire real quick just to make sure it is, uh, they didn't just summon a demon or something. It is not. It, is, it appears exactly as if it were an illusion. It is an illusionary, illusionary tricks. Alright, sorry. Continue. It passes through, the flames kind of lick, you see a, 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 a cut in the, what did I say, dark shape. You see a cut appear in the dark shape where your mace was momentarily. It reforms into the dark shape and continues to dance with the flames. Um, we are now wandering the lost road. Moving on. The dark shape in the fire takes the form of a man uh, being knocked from his horse. A spear piercing his side. <laughs> Stanimir continues, one night, he says, a wounded soldier staggered into our camps and collapsed. Uh, we nursed his terrible injury and quenched his, quenched his thirst with wine. He survived. When we asked, whoops, I lost my place. When we asked him who he was, he wouldn't say. All he wanted was to, uh, was to return home. But we were deep in the land of his enemies. We took him as one of our own and followed him back toward this homeland. His enemies hunted him. Uh, they said they said he was a prince. Yet we didn't give him up. 
uh, even with their even with their even when their assassins fell upon us like wolves. Deep in the bonfire, you see a dark figure standing with a sword drawn, fighting off a host of other shadowy shapes. Nice continues, this man of royal blood fought to protect us as we protected him. He wore, he bore him, we bore him safely to his home, and he thanked us. He said, I owe you my life, uh, a boop and a bepi. Stay as long as you wish, leave when you choose, and know that you will always be safe here. The figure in the dancing fire vanquishes its final oh vanquishes its final foe Kah! and then disappears into a cloud of smoke and embers. Stanimir's face becomes somber mask. <sniffs> then he pulls off his beard a little bit. A curse has befallen our noble prince, turning him into a tyrant. Oops, I shouldn't be looking away. We alone have the power to leave his domain. We've traveled far and wide to find heroes such as yourselves to end our dread lord's curse and put, a, put his troubled soul to rest. Our leader, Madam Eva, knows all. Will you return to Barovia with us and speak with her? Uh, after, of course, which you find your friends. I think I'm waiting for this was this uh, hi kitty. This was a uh, this went into a different direction. Uh, he finishes the story not with that line, but it's just a big flourish and says, "Come, we will we will leave into the into the mists, and I will take you to help you find your friends." Oh, are you aware of our friends? Did is not not what you said? You were looking for people. Yes, Did... but uh, the idea that either uh, oh, just in general, you don't know specifically where they might have been. I think they're what were their names again? Dostaf. Like, oh, Chomsky. Yes, Chomsky and Dostaf. Stop. Did they come by these premises? We've seen many a people come by these premises. Uh, there, in fact, was maybe oof, six ish days ago. There were a, set, a couple individuals that wagon trained their way into the mists. I do not know of what happened to these individuals. Boop a bop. A boop a bappy. A beep a bop a bow. Well, certainly, if you can assist, I do hope that there's a fam uh, and I do thank you for the family style meal as well. <laughs> a good pheasant goes a long way, he says. Uh, I do enjoy a good meal at uh, Boca de Pepe. Yeah, Boca de Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> a little too much garlic on it, but you know, it's still delicious. Uh, so everybody wraps it up. I'm assuming we're going to continue moving on. I'm going to montage into this shit. Um, they're going to assist you in finding your friends. Uh, he is also asking that at some point you come join them join them in their own camp and speak with Madam Eva. I don't know if you want to write this shit down. Quest for you. Come speak with Madam Eva, he says. Um, getting on our way, though. The woods darken as the trees begin to close their ranks. The needle-covered arms interlock and block out the sun. A shroud of mist that covers the ground turns into creeping walls of gray fog that silently envelop you, um, silently envelop you until you can't see more than a few feet in any direction. Soon, even... Oh. Cut that last line out. Uh, the fog hangs thick in the air, turning the trees around you into gray ghosts. Then you suddenly notice that these are not the same trees that surrounded you the night before. Um, if you are imagining this correctly, Wait, they aren't, or they are. They are not the same trees. Okay. Now, this this. Uh... I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. That's a good sign that everything was everything is exactly at physics. We are moving forward, so other trees should be appearing. Fan fucking tastic. Uh, you would be seeing, uh, enshrouded in this fog, you would be seeing a, 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 an old gravel, possibly dirt road, that you are traveling down with these Vistani gypsies. I don't know if, I think the, the phrase gypsy is wrong to begin with. Yeah. Let's just call them the Vistani. Hold on, there was a thing that I was supposed to show you. 
wait for it. This one. Is it safe for work? Did that work? Oh. So that's what it looked like as the as this was um as you were talking to this bearded man who apparently it's not really attached. This young lady in the background, she's in awe, but I think she's also Vistani. Um Lady in the background? Yeah, there's a lady off to the left hand side of the picture with her mouth kinda she's got covering herself and she's like, Oh, oh goodness. I, I still see the bird with the dick. Did it not? <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I just had to do it again. Sorry. There was a problem there. Uh, so that, if you're looking through your journal tab on the right-hand side of your screen, that should be something that's now there along with the players. Yep. I would have to log out and log back in as a, as a player to see it myself. I have a lot of random shit over here. Uh, but moving... Uh, Picturing all this, so you you went through this. Uh, you spoke with these Vistani. They you're traveling down this lonely road. There's a big problem. There's some wolves that jump out. Uh, something goes wrong with the wheel. Uh, the wheel comes off of the wagon. Uh, the the Vistani with swords and whatnot they say no 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 don't help us we will fend these wolves off ourselves they jump off the wagon they go ah do their thing um the old man stannis what the hell was his name stannis is the wrong word stanimir yeah well i refuse not to help so while they're off fighting the wolves i'm gonna repair the wheel he says no 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 sir all right young lady we can we have we have, uh, we can do this ourselves. Please, carry forth down this road. Here's what I would like you to do. Uh, I would like it, I would like it very much if you could, uh, uh, just continue on down the road. Um, we, you'll come to, if you just continue on, you'll come to a, uh, a set of gates, and then well beyond that, uh, uh the town of, shit. Wait for it. Barovia village. The village. You'll come to a village of Barovia. How did Are I forget the that? Are Vistani fighting the wolves right now while he's telling us this? Some of them are. He is kicking back, smoking a pipe, telling you to, to move forward. And uh, two other individuals have jumped off and they're trying to repair a wheel. Can I... I would like to observe for a moment just how adamantly and how, like, how much meaning they're actually putting into their defense against the wolves. Like, specifically, I want to try to determine whether or not they're actually fighting the wolves or whether it seems to be play fighting. Ooh. These are good questions. Sorry, hold on. One moment. And thanks for your patience with my holding up the progress, uh, Maria. Oh, <laughs> right. I, I, sorry, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a mimic. Can only say what I hear. Tell me, my young friend. It doesn't. You're right. It doesn't really say. I mean, they're in speaking from the meta. The Vistani come and go as they please. I'm going to say this, just because I'm not entirely sure. Um, it would appear... <sighs> like, I mean, you don't necessarily need to go into the lore if you know it yourself, but if uh, if you'd like me to roll for it, if you just want to give me the idea of 
whether or not they really seem to be fighting the wolves. That's all I'm trying to determine, and I'll make my own judgments from there. It would appear that they're making a lot more noise than it is actual fighting. Um, okay. They're... If you were out in the wilderness, you yourself were out in the wilderness, and a wolf came over to you, and you were you, turning your back on a wolf would be a wrong, would be the wrong idea. But if you were you, do you really think you'd have a chance at combating a wolf? Am I explaining this right? Well, I mean, yes, sort of. I'm not actually looking to go fight the wolves since they've been so adamant about us not fighting the wolves or helping them with the wheel or helping them in any way. <laughs> they really want us to continue down the road towards the gates. Yeah, that's the one. I'm just suspicious as all hell. <laughs> um, you should be suspicious. Let's leave it at that. You should be suspicious. There's no reason why you would not be suspicious. Don't 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 be suspicious. Um, moving on, I'm assuming with the, with the montage, how far are we into this? About a half hour. Okay. Um, Can I do a really quick crappy nature check to see whether or not uh, there's any wolfsbane in the immediate vicinity? You, yes. Please give me a nature check. And, uh, what is your name? Not, not Maria. Rebel, would you also give me some sort of perception check? Uh, that. Nature, nine. Wow. Trees. How do we do that in here? On your uh, character sheet, if you, if you just click on perception or investigation, it should just roll it automatically. My cat hit my printer, and I don't know what he's printing. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, chess pages! And or scanning of the white backing underneath the scanner. Yeah. Okay, so I click on... What do I click on? Uh, perception right? or investigation or nature. The actual word itself. Got it. What did you just print? Do we still have a tone? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. What a memento, por favor. Johnny. Can you hear oh, because you're logged in as Johnny. Yeah. So it's going to be Johnny both times. Okay. Um, wow, you guys rolled exactly the same. <laughs> That's a, that is a shame. Um, you... <laughs> And you were looking, I'm sorry, or you were looking specifically for Wolfsbane? Yes. And, <laughs> wow. That's a three there. You guys are rolling great. Can we get these, just knock all these terrible rolls out of the way. Um, Basically, I find no Wolfsbane. You do not. You find other plants. Um, and then as you, as you... Are looking around the the through the mists, as it were. Um, you slowly come to do, 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 the to the gates that they. Oh, where were they? Wait for it. It's here somewhere. Yes, the gates. What are you perceiving? Uh, a thing should have popped up in front of you. Did it happen? Yes. Okay. So as, as you're digging around, uh, looking left to right, these trees, the you're looking for Wolfsbane. You come across the gates that they spoke of. Um, to as a matter of fact, I don't quite think that the word "gate" is the right word here. This is colossal. It's colossal. <laughs> Sorry. Give me one moment here. Wrong. 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 I think so. Johnny, play right. 
right? Yeah. Sorry, what? Have we met? Johnny's there and Tom. We're all together. You are not. It is just you and and an autumn currently. It is just. Oh, I wasn't sure why they rolled. Because they want to do something. I'm trying to montage oh. the way, way into the both of you. Hold on a minute here. Uh, the old old road here is described as black pools of water stand like dark mirrors around the muddy roadway. Giant trees loom on both sides of the road, their branches clawing at the mist. Um, these gates are described. The fog spills out into the forest to swallow up the road. The, 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 the fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind you. Ahead, just from jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road, are high stone buttresses looming gray in the fog. Uh, huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings uh, with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. Two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying amongst the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence. That is the description of what you are looking for. I'm going to utilize, if you don't mind, getting back over here. Who rolled what? The fact that you both rolled a nine initially, I'm going to use that as not smelling anything. Well, yeah, but that was a different scenario. That was immediately at the Vistani, uh, as we were leaving the Vistani, looking for the wolf spade. That is true. This this, is a this would be a new role. May I have some sort of perception check, please? What is this 21? So basically... <laughs> what, what? Oh, six. So... Leading up to this, mm -hmm. damn it. <laughs> what did he say? He said, You got 34. Awesome. So, I mean, leading up to this, <laughs> my character would sort of deeply inhale the air, try to taste the mist. And I also have a feeling they would look at the uh, uh, look deeply into the pool. And then try to cast a and then basically try to uh, say a blessing over it with the uh, uh, yeah with her uh, with her holy symbol out. And bless it in what water. way? Just a general blessing. I mean, I don't actually know the process for creating holy water, so I don't think I can do that to an entire lake. Mm. But I do kind of want to uh, impart a little bit of my uh, of my clerical will into the reading of a blessing over the dark waters. Um, the universe doesn't like you doing that. Uh, as soon as you begin to this, do this, this blessing, it does in fact start to rain really, really heavily uh, in an attempt to wash the bless away. Not that you would know half of that, but I'm gonna say, knowing the knowing the world of Barovia, this is what it, it certainly wouldn't appreciate you blessing it in any way. Um, my eyes narrow, and I uh, taste the air more fervently with my perception tech. You do indeed. Uh, <laughs> the gates, uh, as you pass through these gates, they close behind you magically. Uh, you notice something, you notice the scent in the air, a very familiar scent, the scent of death. The foul scent leads you to a human corpse, half buried in the underbrush, about 15 feet from the road. Uh, the young man appears to be a commoner. His muddy clothes are torn and raked with claw marks. Crows have been at the body, which is surrounded by paw prints. The man has obviously been dead for several days. His hand looks like it once held a crumpled envelope in it, but the envelope is no more. And you also notice with your... I think I saw a really high roll there. Nine is not a good Tone. roll. <laughs> Tone? Tone <laughs> notices it. Hey, look, Johnny made a 21 at one point. I'm going to use that. 
Uh, Rebel. <laughs> Rebel, you you I definitely didn't. noticed that there are two distinct uh, sets of footprints walking around this body, walking into the woods, walking back toward the road, crossing the road, and then walking, wait for it, eastward. How desiccated is this corpse? It's fucked up. <laughs> so it's still fleshy? It's still what? It's still fleshy? It is still, fl parts of it are still fleshy, parts of it have been devoured by crows, and parts of it are just muscles split open by these raked claw marks. Um, it smells putrid. Like wet trash on a hot day. It is bad. How well connected is its neck? <laughs> I don't know what you're getting at. Well, I mean, ultimately... I would like to try to tear its head off and <laughs> smash it under my boot heel. The head? Yes. Where are spells? Uh, huh? spells, spells would be on in the character sheet uh, two over from oh. core. Uh, Autumn <clears throat> reaches down, grabs a head, and tries to pull. Um, the first time, you get clumps of hair and skin. Ooh. But the second time, the head pops right off like a dandelion. Um, and then you want to... You've got spirit. How about you? <laughs> and then you try to crush this head? Very much, my young friend. And then, yes, I basically throw it to the ground and go for a boot crush. You do exactly that. It crumbles like a marshmallow underneath your heel. When dealing with the unnatural, you can never be too safe. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, however, I'm giving you the hint of footprints. Please choose to follow them so I can lead you down this path. Boop it a beppy. Boop it a beppy. A beep it a beep it a bo. I agree, bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's. Let's see, handout gates. Or would you prefer to be known as. Ah! <laughs> That's how it's pronounced in her native tongue, of course. <laughs> I see what you're attempting to do there. Don't do that. <laughs> no, there's an extra syllable. What that you just that was racist. How dare you? I'm writing down what has been said so I can mimic it. Oh. So it was said earlier. It was said earlier, so you can you can actually speak it back. Uh Strad's letter. Uh following these footprints, I'm gonna move you on. Following these footprints. We're going to go this direction. Following these footprints. Oops. You said there were the remnants of a letter in the thing, Sam? The, the hand is gripped like it was holding something. That something okay. is not there currently. Okay. Technically, in the meta, you could look over and see it there. There is a letter, but... That has technically not been given to Autumn or Re Rebel yet. Uh, wait, wait. Do, what? Oh wait, so there was a discard. So there's a discarded letter. Uh, no, it was kept by the other two, is what I mean. Oh, okay. So I, I, I would like to keep an eye out for a dropped object along while we're following the footprints. But I was just making sure that I had a reason to look for something. Um, um, I guess use my passive percept. Well, I could tell you you active perception. I know we won't, but yeah. If following Sorry. these footprints, you do not uh, you do not see um, anything that has been dropped per se. But the uh, the footprints do run along the other side. 
the south side of the road, kind of in the bushes that looks like they were once following some footprints. Otherwise, as you follow along these footprints, um, you see that they veer back toward the road. And when you pop out of the trees, you see a light. That light is attached to a house. That house has, uh, it's very fancy. I'm not sure if I have a picture of it for you. Um, oh, I think Does I do. Have a knocker or ding dong? Wait for it. I think I have a picture of it for you. It looks rustic. I hope I did that right. Oh, that's pretty. And this is all just me. So there should be a picture of a lovely house there. Now, what is not shown is that there are two houses, two smaller houses on each side flanking this house. The the two houses, um, the two houses on either side look. Uh, they look all fucked up. This one house which is known as the Durst Manor, uh, looks fancy and clean and nice and welcoming and enticing. Is um, there anything actually indicating that it is the Durst Manor? Is there a nameplate or anything? There is not. We've already taken care of that, unfortunately. What you do see... What the hell? <laughs> Johnny's trying to get the other laptop to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because I'm logged in as him, he had to log in as me. Wait, how do I? There we go. Camera. Hold on. Okay. Um, what you do, what you are experiencing currently is, uh, as you pop out of the woods, you see this house. You see that it is uh, it is flanked by two other houses, and then you see two other individuals, a human and a half orc, uh, almost like a memory. Uh, these two individuals pass straight through you, pass into into the house. They stop on the porch of this house. Wait for it. Uh. Oh, it's up here. That's why. They stop on the porch of this house. Do, 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 do. Bleep. Oh my god, I finally got to change the picture. <laughs> now I gotta wait for it to load. Hooray. Um, you see them pass into the house. They stop on the porch, talk to nothing for a moment, pass into the house a moment later as you're trying to decipher exactly what the hell just happened. You see the two same individuals pop out of the woods, pass through you, stop on the porch, talk to nothing. Um, each time you see these individuals... Doo, 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 come on. Upward with you. Upward. There we go. Wow, that's really difficult. Um, each time you see these individuals, they look a little bit more and more, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, trans transparent, uh, a little bit more ghost-like, if that makes any sense. Um, uh, one could assume that these are the two individuals that you were, in fact, looking for. Waha, full Jeff. Was this something you heard? Yeah. Oh. When you took off the beard. <laughs> I love it. Jesus Christ. Oh, bang, bang. The game is afoot. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you guys would like to pass into this household. Well, no. First of all, is there either a ding-dong or a knocker? <laughs> The ding dong was on the other page. He was on the bird. Yeah. Uh, you are looking at the entrance, the entrance to this household. Uh, a wrought iron gate hangs with hinges, hinges on one side, and a lock on the other, and on the other fills the archway of the stone portico. 
Uh, oh, so we're, we're, we're actually outside the wrought iron gate. You are. The, the gate is unlocked. The rusty hinges sh shriek when the gate is open. Oil lamps hang from the portico ceiling by chains, flanking a set of oaken doors that open to an, into a grand foyer. This says nothing about either of those. Wait, what was the first one? A uh, ding dog or a knocker. Basically, a doorbell or a door knocker is, a, um, is all I'm looking for. The concept of a doorbell is inside uh inside the house itself so i'm gonna say why would they not have the technology to have a, a doorbell i'm sure there's a little like pull chain or something or a you know a button so first of all with as much gravitas as possible i want to open that wrought iron gate as slowly as possible slowly. to maximize the creaking <laughs> the gate actually we can change this wait how long has this been going oh it doesn't tell me what thing record goes? 59 minutes okay so we've been go recording an hour fantastic um this would be a great place to take a quick break if we would like However, uh, there is a... So what was I doing? I was doing this. We're going to stop. And then if you are GMing in a pull cord, I would like to pull that with as much gravitas as possible to create the maximum... <laughs> <laughs> is that... I wonder if I can mimic sounds like that. Bing bong. Like <laughs> What's the thing from Inside Inside Out? The the Bing Bong song? Yeah. Bing bong, bing bong. Um Yeah, we're gonna say that there's a pull chain. We're gonna say you do exactly that. You hear the the gong sound of dong dong. Uh Rebel attempts to mimic it. How does that sound, Rebel? Bong bong. <laughs> Fantastic. You reach it forward, you pull open a gate uh, as slowly as possible. The rusty hinges shriek when the gate is op opened. And on that note, we're going to take a damn break. Uh, stick yourselves, if you would. I'm going to actually take the three of them. And I'm just going to move them over. Let's move them in here. Think. Uh, if you would stick yourselves at the at the center, or oh, I'm sorry, at the center, at the entrance. Do, do. And do, when we get back, do. not no, not not Dostoth, Dostoth and Chamoske. Sorry, Tone. Sorry, Johnny. Uh, that took a little.